Good day. Uh, what I'm doing today is uh, doing a uh, radiator flush and a change of coolant. So, first thing you want to do is take off the radiator cap. <coughs> if you want, you can always inspect your radiator cap to see if there's any oil, oil deposits or foam, anything around there to indicate there's something might be going on. Mine's clean. Uh, I'm going to be putting this coolant in, which makes up 5 litres, with uh, 5 litres of water. Uh, the Triga takes, in total, 11 litres of water, so it's um, pretty close to a 50-50 mix to what it should be. The, um, I'm going to be using a 10 minute flush. Um, you don't need to use a flush, something like this, you don't need to use that if you don't want to. Um, you can use just plain water if you really wanted to. Uh, the thing is, if you see um, like spots of rust, uh, other metals or something, something in the water that shouldn't be there, then you should use a, um, a radiator flush and put it through the whole system uh, just to break down anything else that might be in there and get it out. Uh, if, you, if your system comes out clean with no signs of um, rust or anything coming out, you can pretty much um, skip having to do a flush, just use normal water, flush it through uh, to get any old coolant out and then um, drain the system and put new coolant back in. So um, what I'm doing today is, uh, first of all, get the radio cap off like I said. Now I've got a um, container around here to catch the water, because you can't just uh, dump your water onto the ground and let it run. Um, in mass quantities, a small amount um, that wool doesn't hurt too much. But I can't just open up my radiator <coughs> and just let it all spill onto the ground. There's um, contaminants in the water, can kill um, wildlife, and um, if it gets into the storm drains, uh, that water is used for other reasons, and there's no purifying system to say separate chemicals. This, however, um, so it says here to get rid of it. Uh, disposal, observe local laws and regulations where permitted. Dispose of in the sanitary sewer system. Never pour onto ground or st <coughs> storm sewer systems. So this one's saying that you can basically flush it down the toilet. <coughs> uh, to dispose of the coolant. Safety directions are down there. <clears throat> to protect the environment, dispose of used coolant in a safe manner or as advised by the Environmental Protection Agency. <clears throat> yeah, great. Um, Alright, so I'm going to get to this and um, what we got down here is uh, I know that there's a uh, plug on the uh, motor itself. But up here we've got the valve for the water. Very easy to get to. You know, judging by what's dripping there, I can't see any colour in that, so I could just got plain water. So. You're going to use gloves for this. I don't have any, so I just have to um, do it without gloves for now. I'll just let this empty out and um, continue when it's uh, finished draining. Uh, you can see there, <clears throat> on the motor itself, they're a bit, a bit shaky there, just laying underneath here at the same time. I don't have the ability to put it on the stands or anything where I'm at. But I'm um, just showing this here at the bottom of the motor here, where I've got the socket connected to. That's uh, the drain plug for the motor to drain the water as well, because uh, there's still quite a bit of water in the motor after draining the radiator. And um, just trying to give you a bit of a idea. The more you can see, the more you know. 
It's um just behind the oil filter there. Yeah, directly behind it. And a little bit to the right. And that's where you'll find this drain plug in the motor. Just in front of the oil sump. It's a 10mm socket, 10mm bolt. Um, so there's nothing else here in the area that's 10mm. So you can't really go wrong. If it's not 10mm, then you're looking at the wrong thing. Um, I think it's probably about as much area I can cover here. So you make sure you get the right area. So uh, I'm just going to take that out. I've already got it loose, so you can probably see water dripping down from there. So I'm just going to drain the water from the motor right now. Uh, I'm going to do a thermostat test today as well, just to make sure that the thermostat is opening at its right temperature. Uh, most thermostats have the temperature that they should open at written on them, so I'm hoping for that. I'll get this out and um, continue from there. Okay, I'm just filling it up with... Slowly got water feeding into the radiator. See there, the water's coming out of the bottom of the motor. Now I'm supposed to do this until the water's clear. And that makes sure that you get every bit of our coolant out. This is basically just the, this is the plug that goes into the bottom of the motor. So you know what you're looking at when you take it out I guess try and cover every aspect of me doing this job. You needn't worry about going through all this drum if you don't want to, you can just take off the bottom of the radiator, empty it as much as you can and um, have water going into the top of the radiator at the same time as um, running the motor, running the water through, make sure you've got the heater on full and uh, just keep on cycling it until the water coming out of the radiator is clear and um, we'll get the same job. So it looks like it's coming out pretty clean here. Alright, I'll go turn that hose off. And uh, I'm going to load the plug out for now because I'm going to take the thermostat out next and um, test it. And just so you can all see there. So the thermostat lives. You can't see it on this angle. Maybe if I can zoom in enough. I'll go to a different angle. Just so you can see the thermostat still sitting in the little housing there. So you can see the thermostat. That's there, see so it's sitting on its housing still. That's where she lives. I'll take this thermostat out and um, chuck her in some boiling water and heat her up and um, see at what point she opens. And note to self, next time you pull the thermostat out, be careful of all the water that's going to freaking gush out from the haze behind it. <laughs> Bloody hell. I got the bucket there. Caught most of it.
Okay, according to online, just a bit of um, finding out what temperature. So 80, 180 degree OE temperature Fahrenheit. <coughs> okay, so just a little bit rusty there. I think um, I most definitely will change the thermostat on the next radiator flush. But uh, for now, I'm happy for um, this one to get back in. Alright, so now I've got the thermostat and everything back in place. All bolted back up. Uh, just running the radiator flush in it now. Put that in there first. Whoa! Bit of back pressure there. That was my fault for just sticking the hose in there. Too hard. Uh, <coughs> close the hose up for a second. Start up, so it's got to run for 10 minutes, but I'm. Um, Until I get to um, a full reservoir, while she's running, she's pumping the water through as well. So um, that's why I'm adding water at the same time. Once uh, I put that full ready, I can back, back on and um, let it run for 10 minutes at um, temperature, and then I can uh, drain her out. Um, Another flush with fresh water, and um, yeah, put the coolant back in. Up. Okay, so I'll close up here. Uh, basically, it's got the um, radiator flush in her. I'll let it run for about a good 10-15 minutes, and um, now I've got to let it sit for about an hour before I can uh, drain the water out of her. Too hot to um, open anything right now. And um, basically do everything I did on the first part with um, draining the coolant out. I'll be doing that again now with the radiator flush. Um, again, adding clean water to make sure that it circulates right through. I'll let that go. And uh, then fill it up with um, coolant and I'm good to go. So, um, thanks for watching again. Um, one, of my, one of my main... Um, things I was interested in today, why I did all this uh, now, was uh, I wanted to know where the thermostat was, um, purely because there is no um, documented, uh, no documentation anywhere that says um, where that thermostat is, except for, it tells you in writing where the thermostat is, but there's no um, footage, no photos, um, nothing um, that confirms that where the thermostat is so um that was uh my exercise today of testing the thermostat was also to locate that the thermostat is where the textbooks say it is okay well i'm babbling now so i'm just gonna get going and um the van's running really well so once again thanks for watching um appreciate everyone viewing and um subscribing that is excellent of you all and uh i'll have another video coming soon cheers bye bye